the Toyota intrusive event, the intrusive system from 2001 and later to detect the 20,000th leak test. The same problem everyone else has had. They had to modify their system. This system can test the complete system or the fuel tank. It cannot isolate the canister the way we did before. So it either tests the fuel tank or it tests the complete system by using a bypass valve that is under computer control. It's an extra solenoid. It does include a vent closed solenoid on the canister input. So we've got the closed solenoid on the canister input, and we've got a purge valve, and we've got a bypass valve. So we've got two different things here, three solenoids. This is a very common one. It also is an entirely in integral unit. If anything goes bad, you have to replace the entire thing. Many of the components are similar to what we had in the non-intrusive system with the, the addition of the bypass valve and the vent seal valve. It's going to do this very same thing. This bypass valve selects either the de-energized or energized mode. Uh, the bypass valve is de-energized to perform vacuum decay on the fuel tank, and the bypass is energized to perform vacuum decay on the complete evap system. So here's another vacuum decay system with a seal tank, and it still is going to work similar. Again, we're going to have to make more improvements, as we'll see later on. So the non-intrusive intrusive system, the air drain and inlet valves operate like they did before. The inlet uh, air is going to let air in with a standard pressure drop. The air drain is going to open at about 0.4 CSI, and the system is going to close up to do a vacuum decay testing. And we've gone through vacuum decay testing. It's got a, a vapor pressure sensor. It's going to measure fuel tank pressure. It's going to do the standard vacuum decay we've seen before. It just takes three solenoids to do it with the extra bypass solenoid telling us, is it in the tank or is it a complete system? So the advantage of this system over other uh, vacuum decay systems is that it will test the tank separately. So if you've got a fuel uh, cap or you've got a, a, a leak in some part in the top of the tank with one of the gaskets on the assemblies, it will detect that separate from the rest of the system, which is an advantage. It has the same problem other vacuum decay has. It's got the four to six hour wait when things are cool so we know what the temperature of the fuel is. Similar to other problems we've had. It's a lot of people have been confused by the third solenoid on a Toyota. This is a very common system.